Hello, it's uh, Monday the 19th of October. I'm about, I don't know, 15, 20 k's west of Marah North, west of Narrabri. Just going to have a look around west of Narrabri today, see what's going on out here. The harvest is pretty close. I'm just down the Kabaroo Lane, I don't know, not far, a couple hundred metres down the Kabaroo Lane. This is the first field of wheat I've seen today. It's, um, from what they tell me, it's it's probably pretty representative of what it is out here, but we'll have a good look around and, and see what we can see. Uh, just a bit further down the Kabaroo Lane now. Uh, just um, <coughs> got a field of chickpeas here on this side of the road and a field of wheat on the other side of the road. We'll just have a quick look in the chickpeas. As you can see, they've done it pretty tough. The crop here where I'm walking in is a bit thin, but generally looking across the paddock it doesn't look too bad. I'll just do a quick pod count on one of these plants here and and uh, we'll see how much the emus are left. There's around 30 odd pods per plant here, um, which yeah would probably give you a yield somewhere around that 0 0.35, 0 0.4, something like that. <sighs> so it's not a brilliant crop by any means, but um, I'll grab a few samples out and have a look at the grain, see what the grain looks like. I see a few of the pods have got a got a hole in them, so there might be a little bit of grub damage, but with chickpeas you never can tell. They might also be a little small, looking at a few of them too. Here's that sample just rubbed out here now. The size is probably a little small, colour's not bad, but yeah, I think the size is a little small. See how we go. One thing I am impressed with out here is uh, the volume of the bloody flies. Christ! Anyway, we'll go and have a look at this wheat. Uh, just in the wheat opposite the chickpeas there. It, um, it's, it's not god awful, but it's not great from a yield perspective. I'll have a yarn to the guy soon and find out exactly what it is yielding. But um, I do know the screenings were um, just creeping up over 5%, under 10% still. And the protein was between 12 and a half and 13. I just hand rubbed out a sample there and it looks it looks okay it does look a bit small obviously but it'll be interesting to see how these other crop later crops in particular go out here as we drive around and have a look at them today anyway I'll keep moving along I know uh, it's still here at Kabaroo I just caught up at the owner and the uh, wheat we we're looking at here is um it's going like AUH2 wheat the test weight's pretty good it's still up over 80 and uh, screenings were sub 10 but the yields it you know it sort of looks like it's a ton crop but the yields are only around seven or eight bags at the moment so it's a little bit disappointing there obviously the top of the plant died in because of the the heat and the dryness that has been so uh, severe across the north of the state in the last few weeks so that's a little bit disappointing but um, if the screenings can stay under 10 percent it's it's still worth probably 250 x farm One of the most outstanding things I, I discovered when I was up at the uh, shed talking to Lockie was the, the can of Aragard on the front of the ute seat. So uh, the flies are still bad but they're not quite trying to carry you away now. Anyway, I'll keep moving down, um, <coughs> down and around through this area and up through Spring Plain and see what we can see. Okay, I'm just a bit further south down the Kubaroo Lane now. Um, there's a few chickpeas down here and a bit of more wheat. Um, it'll probably be a lot like we've seen from many of these places further north with just heaps and heaps of chickpeas. Um, I'll do a pod count here just as a comparison to that other crop and I should mention too that that other crop is as bad as it is due to some chemical damage um, more so than the weather so these might be a little bit more representative of what the general crops around here look like but I'll get down and I'll do a pod count and we'll get a better idea. So the pod count's about 70-75 per plant at the moment, which is pretty good really. It should at least give him uh, average yields. So, yeah, better than expected. Anyway, I'll keep moving on. Just a little ways east of where we were a moment ago, uh, down the Doreen Lane, looking at a crop of barley here. <laughs> the headers are in it and the bale is not far behind it at the moment. It doesn't look like a bad crop, there's plenty there. I haven't been able to catch up with anyone to see what the yield's like, but the colour looks good and the grain size is, uh, it's small, but it's not, um, it's not terribly small. Being 
an earlier crop, it's probably not going to go too bad. Anyway, we'll see what else is down the road. Just down the Doreen Lane here. Uh, I've pulled up here because we've got a crop of wheat ready to harvest here and then across the road there's some late wheat that's uh, still green. It'll be interesting just to have a quick look at the, the two. Um, I might just rub some out of this and have a look at this, but uh, it doesn't look like a bad crop. Uh, you know, most of the wheat around here is sort of looking a little bit like this, so around that you know, 1.2, maybe ton to the acre. Anyway, I'll have a look at this one and then I'll rub a sample out and have a look at this one across right, the road. Here's that sample I just rubbed out. It's pretty obvious. Just looking at it, there's um, a lot of small grain in there. A lot of small grain. I know the headland's probably not the best part to part of the field to rub a sample out of, but uh, if that's representative of what's in this paddock, there's going to be some serious screening problems. If this has got serious screening problems, I'd like to... Well, I don't want to know what this one across the road's going to be, but we'll have a look at it and... See, uh, see whether it's going to so make it. This is the uh, greener wheat across the road. Um, from what I've seen and what uh, yields have been reported at, you'd have to say that this might make five bags if, uh, if it fills at all. It's, uh, it's cracking up pretty well underneath it. It's probably a late season punt that hasn't paid off really. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep heading north from here and before turning east. And uh, okay, just at the end of the see. Doreen Lane now, um, another field of chickpeas. There's a fair few chickpeas through here. Um, they probably make up about 50% of the acres I've seen so far. This crop's probably a little poor. We're near the edge of the paddock butt, so it's probably pretty similar to most of the other chickpeas we've seen today. Righto, we'll uh, keep moving on and see what we can see. Okay, just a little further east than where we were looking at those chickpeas a moment ago. On the Spring Plain Road, heading towards Narrabri. Um, into a field of wheat here. It's, uh, there's two crops here, one on either side of this road. One's probably going to yield you know, around that eight to nine bags. It's a very tall crop, but the heads are quite small and uh, that's going to make it suffer. I'll um, have a look at this one across the other side of the road. A little, uh, little thin. I'll rub out some samples and see what the screenings will be like in this crop. Still a few screenings here. Not anywhere near as bad as what the uh, western stuff was though. The grain's a lot plumper. But there is a few uh, small ones in there that may pinch up a little bit as it uh, gets drier. It surprised me, looking at the crop, you think it's probably ready to harvest, but rubbing it out in your hand, you can still feel quite a lot of moisture in it. Anyway, I'll keep uh, moving towards Narrabri, down the Spring Plain Road. Uh, I'm still west of the Newell, probably west of Edgeroy, maybe, I think. Uh, I'm at Bull Carroll area, around there. Uh, in a field of barley here. I see a lot more headers going, sort of, as I travel a little bit north and... Uh, and east to where I was before, uh, I'd imagine here in the next, you know, five to ten days there's going to be a lot of headers going through this part of the world and a lot of this crop will come off very quickly. But, um, yeah, so just in some barley here, I haven't seen a lot of barley. Uh, maybe chickpeas and wheat would be taking up the majority of what I've seen, but there's been a bit of barley. But uh, I'll rub a bit of this out and see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, just rub that out. It's, um, it's got good colour, but yeah, it's small, it's a bit thin. I think they'll have a few screenings issues through here too. Yeah, well, I'll uh, keep heading. I'll head north towards Millie and then back down east of the highway. Ah, uh, no, sorry, west of the highway towards Narrabri. See what the crops are doing there. Just a bit further north of that barley we were looking at a moment ago, and and uh, it surprised me actually how much barley there is out here. Just down this road, there's a heap of it. This uh, crop of chickpeas I've just come across here now. Probably not a great spot to pull over next to Jews Lagoon here. It's probably gotten a little damp at times and hasn't done the establishment any good. But the crop itself looks pretty good. It's, um, oh well, it looks a lot like all the other chickpeas I've seen sort of uh, out this way today. Around that 60 to 80 pods per plant. Good establishment generally. 
and uh, not too far off harvest. I'll keep going north and then I'll uh, go a bit further east from here. Thanks. I know just a bit further north again, um, there's Milton Downs in here. Wheat looks pretty good, it's uh, some of the better wheat I've seen today. And uh, it's probably still, oh, still a while off the harvest, probably still a couple of weeks. A few green ones still in there, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good really. I'll just keep going down the road here and um, see if I can get in on it. Yeah, just in on that field of wheat we are looking at a moment ago, at Milton Downs here. It's, um, it's a pretty good crop really. It's, uh, it's got good establishment, the head length is pretty good. I'll rub a, few, rub a few heads out here in a sec and see what the screenings are going to be like, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Well, the wheat's actually a little greener than it looks. It's quite hard to rub a, rub a head out. Um, the, you can see that there's a little bit of pinched up stuff coming into it now, but generally the grain size isn't too bad, but uh, you think it's going to dry a little, a little fast with the weather the way it is, so you may well see a few screenings there, but generally I don't think it, screenings will be too much of an issue for it. Time will tell. Hey, I'm still west of the Newell, down the Boggy Creek Road, sort of opposite Glenco. It's um, filled with wheat obviously, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty much like the wheat I've seen since I got a little bit further east than where I was this morning. It's all pretty much about this ton and a half type crop. I'll uh, rub a sample out here and see what the screenings look like on this one. As you can see, there's quite a few screenings in that one as well. Pretty small grain, <laughs> very pinched up. This is, uh, oh, we're still um, west of Edgeroy on the Bald Hill Road. This is the first paddock of sorghum I've seen today. Skip row, probably not a bad move, considering what it's like here at the moment. Doesn't look too stressed at all, looks pretty good. 